Welcome back to Therani, I'm Joe B. It's time to give you my step-by-step -step guide to treating a unilateral sacral extension. Let's dive in. Unilateral sacral extension is when the lateral border of sacrum, in this case the left side, gets stuck backward or posteriorly. The cause of this can be due to repetitive toe out walking or trauma like a vehicular accident. This can result to hip external rotation, resulting to ilial outflare that stretches or sprains the anterior sacroiliac ligament on that side, causing the unilateral sacral extension. In addition, there can also be opposite unilateral sacral flexion. Unilateral sacral extension can bring about left-sided sacroiliac joint pain above the ischial tuberosity but below the belt line. There will also be a toe out and limping gait pattern on that side. More importantly, for extreme cases, the buttock will be more prominent on the left side during postural inspection. To treat a unilaterally extended sacrum, in this animation, we'll assume that it's the right side that's unilaterally extended. Position the patient in prone with the therapist on the treated side. The therapist will passively abduct the right hip to approximately 20 degrees to loose pack or open up the sacroiliac joint and laterally rotates it slightly to create gapping of the joint that will allow for effective pushing downwards of the extended sacrum. The therapist's pisiform bone of the right hand is placed on the right sacral base while the left hand is placed on the right anterior superior iliac spine or ASIS to provide a counter force against the right hand pressure. Patient is then asked to assume a prone on elbows position and also perform a series of exhalations while the therapist provides pressure on the right sacral base as patient tolerates. This is held for 30 seconds for three reps. Prone toe ins can be provided to the patient to increase sacroiliac joint gapping and allow the gravity to assist preventing the sacrum to unilaterally extend or move backwards. Patient position will be in prone with hip abducted 20 degrees in this animation, we will assume that the left side is the one that is unilaterally extended. Instructions will be, turn your toes as far inwards as possible for two sets of 10 reps. Then progress by adding six to seven seconds hold each rep. Hip internal rotation strengthening as well as stretching towards hip internal rotation can also be provided. The assessment for left unilateral sacral extension requires two bony landmarks to palpate, the sacral base and the inferior lateral angles. To palpate the sacral basis, patient position is in erect, relaxed, short sitting with hands across the shoulders. The therapist will be behind the patient with the first web space of both hands palpating the iliac crest first. From there, the thumbs will slide down to palpate the posterior superior iliac spine or PSIS. Then the thumbs will go up and medially by one finger breath to arrive at the sacral basis. The patient is then asked to arch the low back which results to sacral flexion and lumbar extension. Normal findings are that the sacral basis move anteriorly or becomes deep. Abnormal findings are that the left sacral base stays prominent or posterior instead of sinking forward. To palpate the inferior lateral angles or ILAs, patient and therapist position will be the same as with the palpation of the sacral basis. Both thumbs will slide down from the iliac crest to the PSIS then the dominant thumb palpates the S2 spinous process, then S3, and then S4. Once S4 is reached, 
the thumbs will go two to three finger breaths inferiorly and laterally to arrive at the ILAs. The patient is then asked to arch the low back, which results to sacral flexion and lumbar extension. Normal findings are that the ILAs move posteriorly or become shallow under your palpating thumbs. Abnormal findings are that the left ILA stays prominent or shallow than the right instead of sinking forward. Come here, come here, come here. So do you want to treat another sacral dysfunction? Watch this next video. Thank you so much. If you like this video, please like, share, and comment. And for more therapy animations, please subscribe to Therani.